Let's talk beef short ribs. Minimal prep time, maximum flavor. Today in the test kitchen, we're making Asian slow cooker short ribs. I've got these beautiful beef short ribs that we're gonna infuse with some really flavorful Asian ingredients to make a simple slow cooker meal. We'll season our short ribs with a mixture of Chinese five spice and some kosher salt. Five spice is typically made from a combination of star anise, clove, cinnamon, Szechuan peppercorn, and fennel seed. When incorporating these spices with the beer that we'll be cooking in, you'll get a wonderful flavor combination of sweet and savory. You'll wanna make sure to give them a really good coating in the spice because it gives a ton of character to this dish. I love using Chuck short ribs for this recipe because they are just so well marbled and well complemented by these flavors. I like to keep the meat on the bones for this recipe since the bones will fortify the cooking liquid with more beef flavors they slow cook. I'll get the pan preheated to medium high before adding some oil. Let's get these into the pan and get a good sear on all sides. It's important to work in batches to make sure all the short ribs get nicely seared and the pan isn't overcrowded. Overcrowding the pan will inhibit the development of a great sear. Yeah, those are getting a real nice sear. It's always good to try and sear the ends of the short ribs as well because it creates more flavor. Use the sides of the pan to your advantage when searing the ends of the short ribs. We'll get this batch into the slow cooker before we start on our second round. Now that's that beautiful crust that I'm going for. That'll give it so much flavor. Like so many other recipes we do, we'll dice a yellow onion and add that to the pan. You can dice the onion however you like. It's going to cook for quite a while, so you don't have to worry about mincing your onions super small. We'll add this onion to the pan and cook over medium heat just to coax out some of that liquid from the onion. This will also help to pull up the fun that's created in the bottom of that pan. Next, we'll add some beer. I like to use a lager because it's mildly sweet with very little of the bitter hot flavor. Finally, add a quarter cup of soy sauce to bring a little salt and umami to the braising liquid, then bring that to a simmer. Now that this has come to a full simmer, it's ready to go into the slow cooker. Just pour the liquid over the short ribs and make sure that they are well submerged before affixing the lid. So now that we've started building all these great flavors in here, you can just set it to low and let it cook all day. Once the short ribs are finished cooking, you may want to skim some of the fat off of the top of the cooking liquid. Gently push a ladle below the surface of the fat and allow some of the fat to flow in. Remove as much or as little as you would like. Bok choy is a perfect complement to this beef. So just give it a rough chop and add it to the slow cooker. You may not use this very often, but it really makes it a complete meal by adding a hearty veggie. The bok choy will cook off the residual heat, so all you have to do is turn it off and affix the lid. Well, this is all finished cooking, so let's plate one up. Oh yeah, that smells so good. I can smell all the soy and the cinnamon from the five spice. We got this nice bok choy in here, it gives us a nice little bit of green to go with that. You know what, I think I'm gonna want two of these. They just smell so good. To go along with that, I want a little bit of this broth. It's kind of like a stew, but it's not. It's just smelling so good. I'll throw a little scallion on there for garnish. Now it's time to dig in barely need a knife. You really don't need a knife. I'm just trying to push it away from the bone. Mmm. I really taste that five spice. Nice flavorful broth. A little bit of bok choy in there for veggies. It's great. That's a super flavorful, easy meal to make. So remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time here in the test kitchen.